Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We got a great Ask a Ninja from David Ratliff of Huntsville, Alabama. So if you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about things like encapsulating crawl spaces, waterproofing basements, cleaning ductwork, indoor air quality. So if that sort of thing interests you, make sure you subscribe to our channel and ring that notifications bell. Okay, so Devin actually has two questions and it's about a rat slab. If you're not familiar with rat slabs, I'm going to share with you a little bit about that. A rat slab is just as straightforward as it sounds. A thin slab of non-structural concrete poured over the dirt floor of your crawl space. The uh, impermeable layer protects against rats mice digging into your crawl space from the outside of the foundation wall. Now, one of the things I want to talk to you about rat slabs is they can still allow moisture and standing water to intrude through them, okay? Because concrete, cinder block can still allow moisture to come through. So it's normally a very thin layer. The other thing about a rat slab is it's not that durable. Okay, so once you go through all of the uh, process of installing it, depending on how thick you install the rat slab, over time, your in and out of the crawl space could damage that rat slab, okay? So what his question was, how do you feel about installing a rat slab as part of a crawl space encapsulation job? Do you think it's necessary here in the Deep South Appalachia border area? Also, if you were to install a rat slab, what extra steps would be needed for encapsulation and what steps of traditional encapsulation should be skipped. Okay, so if you're in an area where you have a huge problem with rodents then and even chipmunks, chipmunks can actually uh, bear or burrow in the ground outside, go under your footer and then pop up inside of your crawl space. I've personally seen that happen, okay? So there could be a need for that instance, especially if you're out in the woods where you got all kinds of things going on, you need that extra layer of protection. A couple of things before you install that rat slab though. I would go ahead and install a water drainage system, a French drain around the perimeter of the crawl space leading to a sump pump. Because if for some reason you go ahead and install that rat slab and you start to take on water, you're gonna have to bust it all out and do that anyway. So if this is a long-term fix, whether you have a standing water issue or not, I would go ahead and do that, okay? And then your other question was, do you require a vapor barrier over the rat slab. Okay, maybe, because again, moisture under the rat slab can still affect humidity. And, and I go back to basements, all right? So if you have a basement, a finished basement, okay, even with carpet and, and drywall and all those things, humidity still gets really high, right? So imagine if your basement does not have carpet or anything like that, or any kind of moisture barrier between the, the slab and the finished product of the, of the uh, floor covering. It's going to have to, the dehumidifier will have to run more often, okay, in order to uh, control that humidity because that water is just coming up more rapidly without those waterproofing measures, okay? So if you're gonna do a rat slab, install a French drain, install a sump pump underneath it, pour the rat slab, and then I would even go ahead and put a vapor barrier over the top of the rat slab to help that dehumidifier not run as often. So great question out there in Huntsville, Alabama. My name is Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. I hope you make it a happy and blessed day. We'll see you later.